In this section, we are going to talk about passwords and password policy. So using secure passwords are really vital for preventing unauthorized access to your fourth gate. Well, when changing the password, please consider at least the following guidelines. So don't use obvious passwords like company name, administrator and so on. Also include a mixture of letters, numbers, uh, uppercase, lowercase, etc. Use a password generator or also change the password regularly and make the new password unique, not a variation of the previous one. Write the password down and store it in a safe place away from the management computer. And this is for, uh, for an obvious reason. Also define two admin logins. So if you lose one, if you lose the, the password for the first one, it's really a good practice to have another admin login available. In terms of password policy, well, FortiGate firewalls have the ability to create a password policy for user logging in. And following the best practices that we have gone through just a moment ago, well, here are the options available when defining the policy. Minimum length between 8 and 64 characters. Password contains upper and lower case characters. Password contains numbers. Password contains non-alphanumeric characters like question mark, hash, bang, you know. Duration of password. So maybe the password you'd like for it to expire at any time. And where the password applies. So is it only for admin access? Is it going to be used for also for IPsec connectivity or maybe both? So let's take a look now in the graphical user interface and see where are these options available for configuration. So first of all, login. And we go to system and settings. And here we have the password policy. So the password scope, as said, apply to administrator password, apply to IPsec pre-shared key. So the password between the peers that are establishing the side-to-side -side connectivity, the secure connectivity. Well, let's say it's for both. And now we have minimum length, let's say it's eight. Character requirements. So we have to have an uppercase, a lowercase, a number, a special character, and the, pass the password will expire in this case in 90 days. So let's say the password does not expire, but we will leave this here. We hit apply. Let's now create a new administrator and see if the policy kicks in. So create new. Well, there you go. Password must contain the following rules. So test admin and the password, it was admins, so let's say capital A. So I will just open a new a notepad, text editor for, for Mac OS. And I will say admin, so I'll have capital small letters, let's say one, so that I have also a number and exclamation mark. So just copy and hit here and hit again here. The password must conform to the system password policy. So what have I missed? Lowercase, special character, uppercase, minimum length. So let's say it's admin and then admin. Okay, administrator profile, let's say it's super admin and hit OK. Save password. I will just log out now. Have the new test admin user and the wrong password. And we're in, logged with the new user, defined with a new password that will confirm to what we have just set here in settings password policy.